Hi, you guys. Started. This is especially me, and I'm not showing you my face today because my hair looks a hot mess, and this is going to be a little bit of a rant. So, if you don't want to hear a rant, um, click out now. Um, today we're going to be talking about a popular website which many, 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 many people seem to love. Wish.com. Okay. Wish is supposed to be, they claim, shopping made fun. Okay, yeah. They have things on there for dirt cheap. I was able to get i7 mini knockoff AirPods off of there, which would cost $30 on Amazon, off of Wish for 6 Okay, and we did some Christmas shopping on Wish, and it took an extremely long time to get here. Um, but that's not... The main reason I'm doing this video. My friend Mary is going to be starring with me on, or starring in this video with me on the Echo. Um, she also has the channel name Fab Amazing Tutorials. If you guys like her, or if you guys would like to, her channel is in my channel list. Feel free to check her out. She does, it's a variety channel, and she does amazing content. Anyway. She'll be with us momentarily. She had something to take care of beforehand, but I just wanted to get this intro out of the way. Alrighty, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> She's here. Okay. Um, Wish.com, although it is fun to shop on Wish, it... <laughs> Excuse that, guys. If you heard that bell ringing on her end, she just shut her bedroom door. Um... Anyway, the reason I'm, this is a negative video about Wish. This is not, you know, any of those YouTube channels like Wish Busters or anything like that. This, do not shop on Wish. Here's why. Okay, we shopped on it, went Christmas shopping, got a few things. Okay, that part of it went great. I have a MasterCard as I mentioned in my last video, that was from the government because of my visual impairment. Now, okay, my card was the de only debit card in the house, so that was used to shop on Wish. Well, every month since Christmas that we have not drawn all my money off of my card, $90 started coming up missing out of my account. We had no clue where it's been going. And mom's been receiving magazine subscriptions in her name that she didn't pay for. So, our, my card got hacked. And as a result of that, I'm losing money. Um, well, I'm not now because I started drawing it all off. But, this is a warning. If you do decide to spite the negative things that I'm about to tell you from about Wish, if you decide to order from there to spite that, do it at your own risk. Wish is not necessarily a store. It's a platform. Similar to Amazon, eBay, all these other shopping platforms out there. But Wish is not secure. With their customers' info. Um, we have not contacted Wish about this because they don't have a way to contact them. Um, one of my friend's family members has also gotten hacked through Wish. Now, if you talk to my aunt, she'll sing its praises to the moon and back. Because she hasn't had anything like that happen to her. Um... The, repro the products, most of them, are cheaply made. Okay, we've gotten two things from there. No, three that were not cheaply made. We bought two ma makeup bags. And we got my AirPods. Oh, four, because my smartwatch. But even with the smartwatch, 
you needed a Sims card. That it said nowhere on that listing, on that website, that you would need a smartwatch, and it was not cheap either. So, like, why are you gonna list something and not say everything you're gonna need? For one, and it it's just not a good idea to shop on Wish. Um, and Mary here, she can tell you, you know, I've been dealing with this for months, and she can tell you some of the things it's taken a toll on for me. She can tell you how it's affected my family's ability to order things offline. I can, and, um, I, and I'm not going to give out the name of the family member, um, that was hacked, but I will say this, Wish is nothing you want to play around with, not at all, people. Um, my family member, until he changed his card number and his card, he kept getting thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars taken off of his card until the people that were hacking him drained his account. And that's the thing I'm scared of, too, is that I'm going to be, you know, I, if I would have left the money on there all these months since Christmas, which was, um, it's eight months ago, almost eight months ago, since that time, um, you know, it started out as $90. $90 is not a small amount to be taking from someone. That $90 could have turned into 100 could have turned to 200 so on and so forth, until one month I go to pay bills and my whole check is gone. And... We have bills, my family does, that rely on that money. My family relies on that money for our entertainment every month. And also, you know, some months to help pay the rent. So, unless you guys want to risk your account being hacked, risk the integrity of your bank information, don't shop on Wish. And if you have to, use a card that only has that set amount of money on it that you plan to spend on Wish and nothing more. That way, if that card gets hacked, you're okay because there ain't nothing on it. Um, yeah. May I add something? Yeah. Okay, my friend, not my friend, oh my god, Ugh. my cousin, Rebecca, she, um, she, she sings Wish's praises, like, across the freaking universe and back, because she shops on it all the time, and I tell her, you're gonna get hacked, you're gonna get hacked, but she still, to this day, has not listened. And, like, like I said, anytime you're doing any sort of shopping online, whether it be Wish, Amazon, eBay, you know, um, Macari, Poshmark, any sites like that, put, get a card that you have that's reserved just for online shopping. Like, get a Green Dot card from Walmart or something like that and just use those cards. If you're like me and you have a debit card like a Direct Express or a Master or a Visa, whatever, use that for bill paying only. Because a reliable company such as Spectrum or, you know, a bill company that you're, you're getting a service from them every month, Netflix, Hulu, um, whatever, they're not going to take your money like that. They've been in business too long to be doing that. Another example of a business that won't snatch your money from you is Straight Talk, the phone company. 
Neither um, will, huh? Doing a review video on Straight Talk and their service, um, on my channel coming soon. Me, and no offense to you, you know, you and your mama, you do you. But I have some qualms about Straight Talk. And you may start on the video and express those. I'm going to say it right here, right now, on my own video while we're on the topic of online services. Um, and I'll express them in your video as well. Yes, they have good um, service in terms of signal and call quality and all that. But with Boost Mobile, you don't have to worry about the issue of trying to set up your phone. You don't have to worry about the issue of, you know, basically with my LG Tribute Dynasty, the guy turned on talk back for me. He, he activated my phone for me and I didn't have to do any of that. With straight talk, you pretty much buy the phone, buy the phone card and you're on your own. Mm -hmm. And, um... If it breaks, you're screwed. Because you, you gotta pay, you can't insure your phone with straight talk, basically. With mm -hmm. Boost Mobile, you pay $7 a month, and if you break it, you call their customer service, you pay $21.50, and they send you a new phone. And that's that. You break it, lose it, or it gets stolen, you can have it replaced for a small fee. Same thing about setup. They'll set it up for you for a small fee. That's why I like Boost Mobile, is because you don't have to deal with that hassle of trying to buy a Sims card, trying to insert it, trying to activate the Sim. The only thing you got to worry about is getting your emails typed in and Facebook and all that. With Boost. But with Straight Talk, yeah. That's why I will never go back with them. I'm sorry, guys. That ring was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I barely even heard it, which means they probably barely even heard it, but that's okay. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to express that. I'll do, if you want me to, I'll go into detail in another video, but I'm not gonna, this video is about Wish, not Straight Talk, so, anyway. Um, and also, anytime you go onto a website like Wish or Amazon or eBay, pay attention to the listing that you're seeing, okay? Just because it looks pretty doesn't mean Shutter, you're gonna Double get what you activate. order. Excuse that talk back. Um, but that doesn't mean, cause when we got that, my, our makeup bags, we thought we were getting makeup boxes. Like, like the hard train cases, like makeup artist shoes. We thought we were getting locking ones of those. But it turns out it's just a small little bag with a mirror hanging from the inside of it. Collapsed down and smushed into the envelope. The packaging from Wish, horrible! Horrible. There is no protection to the item, not even if it's electronic. You're lucky if you can get them to wrap it in plastic. So, <laughs> I mean, it's not a good retailer. At least with eBay or Amazon or whatever, it's in a nice pretty little box. And, you know, there's actually some protection. So... That that's that's my deal about wish um and thank God Mary your family has never put your information out there on wish like you and your mom don't do it don't risk it um but anyway it seemed like a blessing in the short term because you got your stuff but in the long run it's a curse. <laughs> Because they're not secure with your information at all. At all. Like, no. Zilch. Um, 
Huh? I'm putting this amount on there. Yeah, don't don't go shopping with your whole account at your disposal. Set yourself like for instance a hundred dollars. Or something like that. And make sure if you go to shop online, you spend it all that day. Don't leave a dime on that card. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's it for right now, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. You don't have to, but if you want to, feel free to like, share. If the comments are turned on, comment. But if not, um... I will be going into the YouTube studio section and fixing that. Um, so just hold out until then um, and subscribe. And please, you guys, please don't let the fact that you can't comment on some of my videos deter you from subscribing to me because that 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 would be sad. Um, no. Huh? And it's not our fault that, you know, comments are turned off. Um, same for my channel, you know. I had to go back and fix all of the videos that had the comments turned off. Um, and basically, don't let it deter you from subscribing to either of our channels. Come and join the Fab Squad. You know, come and join my friend's fan base. And, uh, yeah. And, you know, you guys are like family to me. There's not very many of you who are subscribed to me, but you are like family to me. And I love making videos to try to make you guys happy. I'm sorry that I did not get a Fun Day Sunday video up yet. I tried to upload it. But my phone's storage ran low and I lost the footage. So, I will be doing a belated Fun Day Sunday video. Um, but that video is coming up, so keep an eye out for it. I'm sorry. Either that or next Sunday, I will do two Fun Day Sunday videos to make up for the lack of one this week. And that's it for now. Zero hours, 17 minutes, shutter, but...